Justin, I got a question. Yep, go for it. So I have a lead that I'm trying to work, and uh, the guy it needs a ton of work. He's telling me it's seventy thousand dollars. He's put he put the property up for three twenty five, but I'm having trouble getting him to come down. I know that I have to get it at like one seventy five. What can I do to bring him down to that number? So have you seen the house? No, I haven't seen it. This is all from a, a Zillow scrape. It definitely needs like seventy thousand just looking on the outside. So what's the estimate? Uh two you know what? Give me one second, I'll pull it up right now. Well, is it less than what he's asking for? Yes. Then you need to reach through the phone and virtually bitch slap him and say, Are you waiting? <laughs> <laughs> And I mean that you're yeah. obviously you're not, I mean, I kind of mean this seriously guys. So when someone does that to me and I'm on the phone with them and I, I'm, their zest is 280 and they're asking 325. Mm -hmm. You're like, sir, I'm looking at your, at your place right now. And you know, that street in front of you, flower street or whatever it is. Well, the one across from you is redone. It's got 200 more square feet and it sold for 280. Now just be honest with me. Are you wasting my time? Okay. Because the if you, zest you are, is like 165. Yeah, this estimate's 165. There's no way. Like, he needs a ton of work with it. So the the problem here is that you're not willing to call this guy out. You just need to okay. call him the fuck out and say, "What are you doing? Why why okay. why would you are you are you joking with me, sir? I don't. My time's valuable, and I I would assume yours is too, Mister Seller. But don't mess around with me. This house is is worth about this much. Okay, fine. Goodbye. Great. Goodbye. Guys, one of the one of the best things to do in wholesaling is learn how to disqualify leads. Exactly. You got to learn when to yes. stop messing with people because when I hear you talking about that, I mean, I can tell David that that's a waste of your time. And when when you only have so much energy as a new wholesaler and you, you're trying to keep your spirits up, make sure you're putting it in the right places. And that that takes a little bit of time to learn, guys. It's, that's one of the arts of wholesaling is learning where a good lead is. Because it's, okay. it's kind of like learning how to fish or learning how to hunt. Okay. That may be one of the best gold nuggets we heard today, to be honest with you. I mean, we've heard a bunch. Uh, that one there, that was a good one. Very good. Um, Thank you. Do you, do you. do you have more you'd like to share about about getting getting those leads? I mean, if you, you know, tell us where to go in the woods to, to do the hunting. <laughs> oh, are you talking to me? Yeah. You know, a lot of that comes from experience, but the first thing I do when I'm talking to a seller is I find out if they're serious. And this goes back to maintaining alpha. And, you know, you just get to the point, be like, guys, or Mr. Seller, look, we're buying 10 houses and I'm, I'm your best opportunity to sell. Are you serious about selling? Well, yeah, I'm serious. Okay, then you're going to answer these questions. And if you don't, then you're not serious. And just take them right back to that. Are you serious? Are you just, oh, you're, I'm just kind of looking around. Okay, well, call me back when you're serious. Put a follow up on it for three months. Yeah. You know, find out who's serious and who's worth your time because, you know, I have a couple metrics I have my wholesalers do. One of them is 50 calls per day. Now, that is just one metric. I have another metric that I want them to have at least five good conversations per day. Right. And a good conversation constitutes of, you know, even if you have a good conversation with someone that you're not going to buy from because they're asking too much. But if you learned how to negotiate with the guy, you learned how to build rapport, you learned, you learned how to understand. You need to have those good conversations. And it's, if you start doing that, you can start to get a feeling. It's almost like an energy that you can feel of when you're making progress. And it's, it's just, it's no different than, I don't know if you guys like to hunt or if you guys like to, I mean, it's kind of the same. It's like a sixth sense almost, but you've got to be very diligent about your time and very put your your yeah. make sh make sure the seller understands that your time is fucking important to you because right. that's what's going to make them respect you who's the baddest bitch in the room yeah. <laughs> right. well who and really to be honest who is because you're talking to a layman you're talking to a person yeah. that has one house <laughs> most times and you are the baddest person even if you're a brand new wholesaler exactly just being in this group you have probably a hundred times the information of that seller so you have to step into those shoes. Exactly. Let's go to lightning round here, guys. Uh, I don't want to keep...